Pumpkinhead coming to you live from the Great White North Pumpkin Fest at Smoky Lake. the way it is. They're a weird crowd, those zombies, you know? Well, now that we have that drama out of the way, let's get on to some of the other events that are happening here in Denmonton this month. Denfest presents Chillerama on October 14th with director Tim Sullivan in attendance. And it looks like Denfest will be taking a road trip to Vancouver on the 20th. Make sure you check out their website. Edmonton Ghost Tours are happening Monday through Thursday in the old Strathcona area of Denmonton. Check out edmontonghosttours.com for all of the details. Corn maze season is almost over at the Edmonton Corn Maze, but the farm of fear is starting. Do you have what it takes to make it through the farm of fear? October 14th through the 16th sees the Scarecrow Festival happen here in Edmonton. In support of the ABC Head Start program, the Scarecrow Festival is one of the biggest fundraisers of the year for them, and it's tailored to all the little kids. Starting this weekend, every Friday and Saturday nights, is going to be the Haunted Hike out in Sherwood Park. Now, remember, things have changed a little bit this year because you can't park on site. It's only available for bus and ride. Full details are on their website. From October 20th to the 31st, in Red Deer, Alberta, is going to be the Z99 Haunted House. This fundraiser put on by the Boys and Girls Clubs is actually a really incredible haunted house. We went down there last year with the Edmonton Bone Wagon Association, and the Bone Wagon Association and Pumpkin Ed will be showing back up there again on October 22nd. So come on to Red Deer and see the hearses, or go and support the Boys and Girls Club at the Z99 Haunted House. October 21st and 22nd is the Sensual Screams of Halloween. As you can tell by the, uh, the name of the event, it's not for kids. Not really into scary? Looking for something a little more comedic? Well, make sure you check out Rapid Fire Theater's improv shows on the 28th and 29th of the month. They're not to be missed. 
Also on October 28th is the Animal Cancer Therapy Subsidization Society's Halloween Extravaganza. This is one of their biggest fundraising events throughout the year, so make sure you check out their website at actss.ca. On October 28th and 29th, make sure you check out Fort Edmonton Park Spooktacular. This is an event that I was involved with for many years, and it's highly recommended to all of you folks. The farther you get into the park, the scarier it gets, so it is actually fun for all ages. Then, on October 31st, in addition to all of the bar scene that's happening around town, and you're being at home decorating your own, many of the haunted houses in Edmonton's most haunted are going to be open. I Haunt You, Tunnel of Terror, The Redwater Haunt, Norwood Haunted House, One in Kaniski Gardens, The Royal Gardens Haunt, Knights of Terror, The Terror of the Townhouse, and dozens of others are listed on Denmonton's Most Haunted. So make sure you drop by the website in advance to take a look at some of those places, and maybe you can even help plan out your route and find out something that you didn't realize was haunted. Just a reminder that the 2011 Haunted Canada calendar is going to be available shortly. We'll have some details on the sites, but you make sure that you take lots of photos and videos of your site so that you have the chance of appearing in it next year. He's taken stuff from all over Canada, but we're trying to make a really big presence out here in the West. Well, we want to wish you a safe and happy Halloween from all of us here at Edmonton. It's been a great year, and give us a little bit of feedback as to th more things that you'd like to see on Dedmonton, Dedmonton.com, Dedmonton.tv, and with the Dedmonton Festival in general. Until next time, I'm Daryl from Dedmonton.